Morning. Oh, open neck is cold, look. 3.5. Right, one second. Just putting the heating on. Boom, boom. Perfect. All right, it is 20 past eight. This is the earliest I've woken up in a little while. It feels like 20 past five <laughs> because yesterday I was hungover, so I'm still feeling it a bit. But I am off today to take my car in for sort of a service. I may have mentioned it in a previous video. I got a stereo fitted last December and during the fitting, the guy doing it, sort of engineer, managed to mess up a lot of my car's internal locking and alarm system um, and he couldn't fix it. <laughs> so I have to go to this mechanic to get them to repair it. This is the third time I've gone because it takes quite a while. And they need both keys to reset it and all that stuff. And then I take the bill back to whoever it was. I don't want to say. Uh, a famous bike slash car selling company. And then they will refund me for the, the bill. So they said to get there between eight and nine. So I'll probably get there just after half eight. So that seems good enough to me. And then I've got a banana just here. But I think I'll go, I think there's a a vegetarian vegan cafe in Bodmin but it may not open till 10 so I may be forced to uh, go somewhere like Weatherspoons but they do baked beans on toast so the car is nice and toasty now it's just been simmering away nicely so let's go I can make that old bloke down there pick his nose again and again and again <laughs> I can't believe I've lived in Cornwall for nearly two years. I've never been on that Bodmin railway before on the on the steam engine. It looks so cool. Anyway, I dropped the car off now. Just heading into town. About a 20 minute walk. Um, oh, lots of cars. Found a footpath. Yeah, don't know how long it's gonna take. Last time it took about two hours. Maybe it'll be quicker this time. I know he has to do like uh, engine diagnostics and all that. As I suspected, that vegetarian cafe opens at 10. So, not sure what to do. Maybe, maybe I'll just head into Weatherspoons for a pint and then go and have breakfast in the cafe. We'll see. Probably just go to Weatherspoons because it is warm. Oh, I've clean shaven, like wet shaved for the first time all year. And it feels so, so much colder. You don't, you don't really realize until you get rid of it. And I know I'm wearing the same red jumper. I have showered, I promise. I just wear this all the time because it's so warm. to show you the sights and sounds of Bodmin. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. I've been walking along the main road for about 10 minutes. Still no word back from the garage, so I'm just hanging around. But good thing I like walking. Have a sit down here for a minute. It's a nice little area here. I guess these stones are here for a reason, possibly. To have a sit down on. Parts of Bobbin can be very pretty. For the most part, it's just a bit grim. It's great if you like drinking and betting. <sighs> that sounds really harsh, but it's one of those old Cornish historic market towns, as they say. If any of you watch Poldark, you'll know Bobmin's in it a lot. I'm glad they have a polled arc ale in the pub. So I think I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. No word from the garage. I got some food, extra food. But I'm thinking 
So there's a hole in the barrel. That hole in the barrel in Bodmin always has food, like vegan food in the fridge. No one ever buys it. <laughs> so it's always like cheap on offer, like 75% off. So tomorrow, Maddie and I will have been together for seven years. Tomorrow is also the 31st of October. And thinking back, every year I regret asking her out on Halloween because it just makes things very awkward. And tomorrow is the day we are packing up everything from the house in Cornwall to uh, move it up to Brighton. So I think the plan is we're going to do something nice when we finally moved in in Brighton next week. I've ended up just walking around the uh, residential estates. Now I am lost. Getting back now, it's been about three hours. It's getting a bit silly now, it shouldn't take that long. So I'll go back there, not answering the phone either. So I'll just go back and sit in their office. Oh, office, if needs be. It was funny, when I was in the card shop earlier, there was a mum with her young daughter, and they were looking at like birthday cards, and the young daughter turned to her mum, like pointing at a card, and said, oh, mummy, can we get this one? And the mum turned to her daughter and just said, no, that's too nice. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that before. This birthday card is too nice. So, I'm back in the car, and would you believe it, he wasn't able to fix the problem. I guess I'm going to have to do it in Brighton and send the bill to the people who fitted it. Uh, whole morning wasted, but never mind. Going to get some petrol now. Well, hello. I'm back. Been a few hours. I drove home, collected Maddie and dropped her off at Alice's, whose house we were at the other day for the party. And I came into the office, Maddie's mum's office, to help her out with some old computers that she needs backing up. It's taking a long time. And oh, look, I said wet shaving would give me a rash. And look, flipping out. I can feel it right here. It just gives me spots and gives me a rash. I can't, I, and everything I try doesn't work. Maybe I just shave really aggressively. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this chair makes you feel like you're gonna fall off if you lean back at all. <laughs> Every time you spin and lean back, it feels like you're about to be tipped out. Oh dear. That reminds me of those teacup rides when you were younger. Anyone go on them? I can ride the roller coasters. I can even ride those ones where it takes you up to the top of the tower and drops you. I hated it, but I still do it. But teacups was the one thing I would never go on because I would just be sick. Hello, I'm in the vlog. Alex Hello. just picked me up from my um, friend's house who went to her, her party the other day. To say goodbye to her, um, I'm gonna miss Alice a lot because she's my best friend and she's not gonna be in Brighton. It's such a crisp um, day outside, look. Yeah, should have seen the, the sky before. Yeah. Maybe we'll try and... Um... Anyway, I don't wanna be on camera much more because I look revolting. I, I was saying yeah, to my friend it. that, I was saying to my friend that I'm at the stage where everything is packed away, I've been wearing the same clothes over and over again. None of my skincare, all my skincare's run out and I need to make new stuff because I'm own skincare. I've like, not like washed my hair properly, I've been washing it with just water and I just feel disgusting and I can't wait to move and I'm gonna have a full pamper day and I think I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna have literally a full day where I just pamper myself and, and I'm gonna like make loads of beautiful homemade skincare stuff and pamper my whole body and just like have the most perfect relaxing day and I can't wait because I feel disgusting. Well, I feel I'm like sure. even though we got back from Asia, like Canada a month or two ago, I've just been wearing the same clothes. Yeah, because we have. Because we have. We've been living out of bags. <laughs> yeah. We've been living out of backpacks and bags for months on end, and it's not yeah. fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It's right. It's fun if you're in a hot country and you're traveling and you're doing all these exciting things. It's not fun when you're living in the country you've grown up in, the house you've grown up in, because there's nothing to do. That is not fun. All I've added to my wardrobe is trousers. Yeah, they're like. Because you can't wear trousers. 
I, it, you can get over the backpack thing if you're like in Thailand, like come on. But like if you're in Cornwall in my parents' home, uh -uh. Yeah. so yeah, anyway. Editing time. I have got two hours and 10 minutes to smash this mother out before we go to the cinema later. We're actually going this time. about 10 minutes. Not 10. I stroked, I'd say five. let me tell them the story. <laughs> I stroked him on his back and then he kind of like bit my hand, but not bit, he just kind of, not where he puts his teeth in, but just kind of like that. Hmm. And then grabbed my hand. I think he was doing it to grab my hand and then he immediately started licking it. I think he was biting it to grab it and then clean it. Hmm. And Maybe. also, he's been very clingy, like he literally five seconds ago was like sitting right on my neck up here. Maybe you just really smell. It kind of hurts. Because her tongues are like got bits on her. Like, I don't want to stop him because I feel like he's showing how much he loves me. Yeah. And I'm also watching his tongue thinking, is this a bit gross? I'm letting your cat like lick my hand. You should probably wash it. Yeah, I will wash when he's it. Done. I've never seen any cat do that for this long. Frankie has done this to me before. He's, well, he's done it to me and it's been like a minute. And then he stops, he gets bored. He was purring loudly before, now he stopped. Why is he doing the same area? Really salty. There's no escape. Okay, my turn. Oh, is that it? That's all I get. How do you like the film? I like the film. Go watch it if you haven't seen it because it will be out of the cinema soon. Good night everyone. Good night. <laughs>